Yo, what's up, YouTube? Kid Vape and Vaping German. What's going on, everybody? Uh, today, we're going to be doing a review on, a, what is this, RVA Pours? Yep. And here they are. <clears throat> and we're just going to go ahead and jump right on into it. Uh, we're going to be starting today with, uh, I believe this is, what is this? Blue Balls. And this is going to be a refreshing blueberry and melon. Hmm. Sounds interesting. It does sound interesting. That's these bottles again, the really hard to squeeze ones. There you go. Here we go. not too bad actually you get a whole lot of the blueberry as well as the watermelon on the inhale so it's actually a full frothy or not frothy full flavored um it's not even full flavored it's more of a like a mouth you don't find it very throaty i mean yeah it's pretty dang good throaty but as far <laughs> as it, take a full it, gives, of it. it gives a good mouth feel if that makes any sense at all and also con uh, uh, pun <laughs> also punches you in your kidneys <laughs> We're both a little tongue tied. I'm not really sure what we're trying to say here on this one. Uh, um, blue balls. <laughs> yeah. I think we just need to move on from this one. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see. What, which one is this one right here? All right. For the next one, we have Wick Flare. Actually, has a picture of him on there, I believe. It kind of looks similar to him. Anyway, let you be the judge of that. Woo! But this one. <laughs> uh, this one's going to be a berry medley that makes you go. So, we'll see what happens. Bottles are extremely hard to press. Yes, very. Really it's like I'm using a full fist to actually do this. <laughs> That's what she said, right? <laughs> anyway. Might, might have been some of the blue balls there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <coughs> I have noticed the trend in these juices already. I have a feeling that they are all going to be very throaty. <coughs> wow. <laughs> what do you think? Pretty throaty. <laughs> okay, other than that. <laughs> uh, taste the berries. Um, just a lot of berries. It's really uh, harsh on the back, palate on the throat. Once it gets back here, it kind of locks it up a little bit. But um, I taste the berries. It's like a blueberry. Is like what a blue, I, like a blue raspberry. Yeah, it's 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 all right. <laughs> Very throaty juice. Anyway, Very throaty. we're gonna move on from that one as well. Pretty sure I just burnt my cotton. I hope not though. <laughs> All right, this next one is called Alien Abduction, and it is a sweet, sweet citrus infusion with a hint of coconut. Is this something you want to try, or I mean, I got to. But. I'll let him do that one. And the reason he's letting me do this is I'm impartial to yeah. uh, coconut. I don't like coconut, so I want it to be as good a review, honest as a review as it can be. Because coconut, I'm instantly going to say I don't like it. I don't like taste, make faces. I want it to be unbiased. I guess I'm the guinea pig when it comes to things such as coconut, tobacco, and bourbon, really. Yeah. Wow. Guys, that one's actually not half bad. <laughs> it's not, it's, this one's the first one that happened to 38 in line. It smells like straight up coconut. Yeah, for the most part, it is. It is very heavy on the coconut. And basically, all the citrus is there for is just to, to be a subtle hint. Of, just to let you know what's there. It's really not a whole lot of anything, but mostly all throughout the mouth, all throughout the palate, is straight coconut. And just a hint of citrus. That's really all it is. That one's actually not too bad. Not too bad at all. So. Next, we'll be doing the uh, V for vanilla. It's a five layer vanilla custard. This may not be too bad. Whoop. 
course he drops it. I got it. But I did drop it. Thoughts? It's a whole lot of vanilla, like French vanilla, roast vanilla, coffee vanilla. It's 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 kind of really weird tasting. It's overdone. It's it's very very weird tasting to be honest. It's the vanillas kind of start making a meringue taste. It's like a, a lemon meringue, you know that meringue taste is. Yeah, it's not very. It reminds me of vanilla goes in coffee creamer. That's the way to sum it up right there. It tastes like coffee creamer. It does. Yep. I gotta say, so far. Um, which I, one was that one? B for vanilla. B for vanilla. We got two more left here. One. One more. Yeah. The cereal. All right. Last one we got is a Craig's breakfast. And what? there is another one which is a lemonade. It's a secret blend of lemon and cake, but um, I've seemed to kind of misplace that one. I don't know where that necessarily went. If I find it, I'll uh, update this uh, review, though. What's the profile on this one here? Um, Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops. Well, it's uh, Looty Tooty Fruity. Okay, so probably Fruit Loops. Yeah. And uh, I just made up the Looty Tooty Fruity because it's actually not on my list here. It's supposed to be a dry it is. Fruit Loops. It is a dry Fruit Loops. It tastes like you actually, without the milk and all, it tastes like you're just eating a solid, just a Fruit Loop. A handful of Fruit Loops. A handful of Fruit Loops. And surprisingly, it's not very lemony. No, it's a little throaty, though. It is a little throaty. So really, guys, the only con that I think me and Kid Vape have actually came to a conclusion of it's is throaty. how throaty it is. I mean, other than that, the juice isn't bad. Um, overall rating, I would give it about a 6 out of 10. I'd go 5. 5. 5 out of 10. Um, I mean, it's, it's decent juice, don't get me wrong. That's just not something I would really be willing to, I guess, make. Let's just put it this way. I didn't enjoy it. No. Do a, nothing against you guys from, um, what is it, RV vape, uh, RVA Vapes? Yep. But um, it's it's really not my thing. Uh, I don't really like it that and, much. Uh, and just to pass these on to someone that actually, because I will not technically vape them, to be honest with you. Uh, not not enough to really count. So I'll pass these on, and I'll pass these on to uh, a giveaway. I'll do a uh, one of my multiple weekly giveaways. I'll throw these out there for a full-fledged giveaway. So uh, the juices will be going to a good cause. Maybe a person that will vape them a little bit more than I would. I would vape them. They're not a bad juice. Not the best juice. Not a bad juice. But uh, I'll pass them on to somebody that possibly would need the juice Absolutely. or want to win something for free. You know. Um, but thank you, uh, RVA Vapers. Vapers. And um, brought to you by Kid and Vaping German. And we'll see you again. Like Kid Vape always says, do what you gotta do.